Hey cuties, what's going on? In this video, it, this video is going to be a little casual, on the casual side. This is for the people who are maybe are maybe struggling on like villain dimension nightmare or whatever. They're trying to find a way to farm some accessories and stuff because maybe they don't have one yet or their accessory is kind of bad or whatever. So I'm a, I'm going to try to show y'all, show you people how what's the best way to clear it. If you're not like a speed runner or anything just like a casual solo clear the best character like the best all-around character to have for this like for this um this dimension and the easiest way to clear like and the easiest one to use that makes it the easiest to clear is genos for sure so you want to equip genos in your main slot and then to help with mob clearing you want to have rimuru in one of your assists and then to help with boss clearing you can have Gojo in your second assist, but even then, Genos is good at killing the boss by himself. That you could have another um, assist for mob clearing. So you could throw in like a Mega Man assist, maybe a Zenitsu or a Toto assist, or if you have, or if you struggle, um, if you struggle with the boss, you could throw in Shield Man for the invincibility or Priestess for the heals. If you struggle at dodging the boss, but for the most part, if you think you can dodge pretty easily, pretty easily, pretty well, and you just want to like try to clear it as fast as possible or try to like get a good farm setup, this is probably the way to go. So we're going to go into a nightmare hardcore, of course, and I'm going to show you how y'all should pull the mobs, how y'all should attack the mobs or whatever the best methods for all of So first, once you first load in um like it's just a whole group of these boys here you want to just three once you three you just lay them down you can one here sometimes if you crit they'll die and then you can just two here and boom they're gone and what you want to do here you just gather them up rimuru and then finish off the rest with the one. Oh, he's still alive bang then you get up here gojo one two three and four it's all back to back and then me since i have good stats he just goes down and then from here you can just since you don't have your assist you want to try to not trigger him because then he'll just stay all he'll just stay all the way back here but you want to be able to just gather all these groups up and then bring him down same with here your three is going to be a cooldown so all you want to do really is just gather them all up Use your one, and then your two. And that would just clear most of them out. And it's pretty much just like this from here on out. You kind of just go down, gather up. That dude got triggered, so he's going to stay there. But you can just clear them all down again. One, two. And here, you gather them up. Since your room is off the of cooldown by now, you come here, drop them in. I didn't finish off the rest. So go, I mean, Genos is really good for this dimension. He's definitely the best for this dimension for people who consider, like, they, they don't want to see you run. And then throw down your Gojo alts. And then kind of just clear it out from here. For this, for this section right here, though, you want to make sure you can get out those circles and not dodge because that big one comes out. And the only way you can dodge that is by dashing. So for those um, first circles, you want to make sure you, you're able to run out of them. If not, you might have to take a hit. Alright, this section of the video is for the speedrunners or the people who aspire to be a speedrunner. What you want to grab is either your Ryuko or your Bakugo. Ryuko is the best, absolute best for like just straight up clearing dimensions and running through them. Bakugo is a very close substitute. I've gotten a 124, I think, with the Ryuko. And then like somewhere in the 130s with a Bakugo. Bakugo is like second best when it comes to like mobility and mob clearing to Ryuko. But if you don't have Ryuko, um, the free variant of her pretty much to use is Bakugo. Or even if you have Rengoku. I still have yet to try him out in the dimension because I never got him. But I'm pretty sure he's probably second tier, like second to Ryuko if you have him. 
because his first ability is just like her first ability where you can use that as like an extra dash and it goes pretty far but you grab your Bakugo and your Gojo and your Genos your Gojo first assist and your Genos second assist the reason for that is because um, if you watch my previous video before it's me running there's something called the reset meta that you use and on the ones before you have to reset after the first after you kill the first boss and then reset before the second boss but for this one you only want to reset for this um before the second boss because it's just faster at this point to run bakugo or ryuko throughout the whole first part of the um dimension and then use gojo to just clear the boss because gojo is goaded you know all right so what you want to do is immediately once you spawn in you should two when i first group in the front Use your one here, line them up, and then three them down. This one didn't go down, but usually they should go down. You want to gather all of these groups here. Use your one, and then two out. Go with Joe Genos, catapult, and just pretty much M1, and just spam your abilities until he goes down. You want to try to end off with a two, because then you can just two out there. Super dash. Gather them up. One here. I don't have my three. Usually, want to use your three here, but you can also use your two for a substitute. If you have good enough stats, they will just go down there. But you can also save your two to dash up here, and then you can use your alt in the middle. The two will give you like extra speed boost to go up there. Dash here. One, and then lay them down. Gather them all up here. You want a two on this group, and hopefully you can get a crit off, and they will like go down. I died there, but you want to get a crit off so they can like that whole group can either go down or you at least kill like the small boys, and then you can just turn around and three everybody down, and then there that's when you want to reset to Gojo, and then you can um, run to the boss at that point. Like what I was trying to show you is that since I have the three boys here. And then everybody else is running up. You can get right here. Use Bakugo's three. And then if they're all caught in the three, you can hurry up and quickly reset while the three is going on. And then by the time they you spawn in, they will be dead and the boss will be spawned in. And then you run into the boss. Super dash up. And then one, three, assist, four. And the boss goes down. Easy. And that's a, a very, very rough version of speedrunning. This is awful <laughs> because I was trying to explain and I died. But yeah, that's that's the gist of doing it. So yeah. But anyways, if you enjoyed the video, you want any more tips, tricks, guides, or whatever, feel free to let, it, let me know in the comments. But yeah, if you enjoyed the video, like, comment, uh, subscribe if you feel like supporting me anymore. And I will see you in the next one. Peace.